I just don't play.
Ruth Taha is a vice president of the Student Osteopathic Internal Medicine Association. He won first place in the student case competition for the American College of Osteopathic Emergency Medicine. And he's a recipient of the Dr. Haddad Scholarship for the first year. Both students have uh, been nominated and inducted into the Gold Humanism Honor Society, a very special honor society that honors students and faculty who really bring humanism in medicine. It's quite an honor to be in that. They both presented a case report poster presentation on a VSAR mask post laparoscopic worldwide surgery. They are the founder and co-founder of the Future Teaching Physicians and Online Community. Uh, they published Medscape articles on tips for surviving medical school and 10 unwritten rules about the third year. So you can see they've uh, done quite a bit in uh, many menus. Their book published this fall is entitled How to Prepare for the Medical Boards. Secrets for Success on USMLE Step 1 and Complex Level 1. Alike and Peru were inspired to write this book after their experience preparing for the boards, having felt that uh, there was more information needed to be pulled together to help other students. This book will help all medical students learn how to create a study plan for major topics tested as well as a suggested approach to reading and making mental notes as well. The book also helps medical students discover the secrets, learn the rules, and avoid common costly mistakes when preparing for the medical boards. Another key feature of the book includes tips on how to survive medical school. I am really very pleased uh, to say that both uh, Adelike and Farouk will have signed copies available uh, right after this uh, to be purchased. And also a portion of today's sales for the proceeds will actually be donated to the Camden Saturday Health Clinic, just another example of their commitment to health care and helping people. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce our own Adelike Edesina and Farouk Powell. Thank you everybody for coming here today. It's a pleasure to see everyone here. Uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to come in. Uh, so thank you guys for coming. Thank you to um, Dean Kevlar for this warm introduction and for sponsoring this event for us. And thank you to Dean Shishi and Shana for helping us with this whole event. Um, so we're just going to tell you a little bit about us, uh, tell you about the book, and we're going to have wrap up at the end. But before we start, we need to do some of So first of all, uh, we want to thank God, not only God, for uh, his wisdom to bestow upon us as students. We started first year with this graphic idea, being a spot just like we were able to see a few years ago. And uh, we just want to thank God for all his opportunities to give us to be able to pull through these hard times. Uh, we also want to thank our families, my dad and my mom, uh, and my brothers that were supportive of the experience we were making the event today. And without them, we know the prayers and support. Some of our family members and uh, church members are here today. We want to thank them for coming out. Thank you very much. And um, we'd also like to thank um, our former academic dean, Dean um, Paul Kruger, for helping us. He took a lot of his time to review the book one time after the other after the other. He helped us contact the NBME and the NBOME and to make sure we're not violating any rules or regulations when we're writing this book. And he gave us a lot of um, tips about the book, which I'll get into a little bit later. We'd also like to thank Dr. Um, White, who's a neuroscience instructor in our school. He helped us review the book. Dr. Um, Barone from Pathology Captain. He also reviewed the book for us and gave us tips and advice. Um, Dr. Stephen Agabeji wrote, wrote the book Step Up to Medicine. He was um, one of our inspired uh, people who inspired us because he wrote his book during the third year. He started writing during the third year medical school. And that's um, when we were inspired. He helped us and reviewed the book for us. And I'd also like to thank um, Kumi Johnson, uh, who's at the Lakers Garden. She's not here today, but she helped us a lot with the process. She kept reviewing it for us and um, fixing all the grammar because we're both immigrants pretty much. So, so we're going to start with a quote. 
think this is one of the most important quotes I like to read. I've seen a lot, but this kind of struck me a bit. Kind of defines why we're here today. Success does not go to those who have the genius and the natural talent for knowledge, but to those who are willing to put enough time and effort. Enough time and effort. Actually, what if I say that one more time? Enough time and effort to realize their goal. So we're going to get done with this, but this uh, code really summarizes all the hard work and uh, the persistence we put in to get this whole process uh, together. So we're going to talk a little about us. You can really give a little spill about us. I'm just going to give you a little summary. My name is Adele Kadesh, and I'm originally from Nigeria. Uh, I did my high school over there. I ventured into the United States and searched for a better place and moved on to composition. I came to go to college and uh, I was a double major in biochemistry and general biology. And after that, I got accepted here. And I'm a fourth year medical student there. I'm looking forward to graduation <laughs> Uh, and my career is interested, I hope to match in emergency medicine. Uh, and my, we have one fact about me, I'm a good friend. Okay, so, I'm Farouk, um, I'm half Jordanian, Palestinian, Lebanese, all that stuff. And um, I went to Stony Brook University in Long Island, New York. Um, I'm a fourth year at SYM, I'm also interested in emergency medicine. Hopefully I'm next somewhere in New York, because I'm not a big fan of New Jersey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not forgetting. And um, fun fact about me, I just I play soccer. I'm a goalie, and I don't cook like I do. Like I just eat. That's fun. I could cook for you too. So why are we here today? Uh, this whole project started with an idea, and it's also started with a phone call. So at the end of the pediatric presentation last year, I go through my step up to medicine book, and I look at the first page, and lo and behold, it's looking at the the road, the front page. I read this book for my third year medical school. I'm like, wow, look at that. I can write one. So I started you know, typing out about five pages and I said, I need to find somebody who has the same work ethic that I do. Who's very hard working, who I know that's very disciplined uh, that I can actually count on. And I called Farouk and Farouk, what happened? So, okay. well, so a lot of you maybe don't know that like, I like is very ambitious. He gets these ideas at certain times of the day. And he just comes to call me and tells me stuff. So this was a Saturday and decent time in the morning. It wasn't too early. He's like, Brooke, I'm going to write a book. So I'm like, sure, OK. So I roll my eyes. And then he's like, no, just hear me out. Um, this, is, this book is going to help a lot of people. There's tons of review books out there that um, has content for comics and use and leave, But nothing out there tells you how to put all the sources together and study. How can you use all the sources you have to do well in comics and use and leave? So he sent me the five pages that you wrote, and I thought that was legit. Um, you know, I, I agreed to be part of it, um, and we started writing. So we just everybody started writing individually, and then after a week, we kind of put everything we have together, and we realized, all right, this is already ten, you know, ten pages, single space, so, like the double space in came fifteen pages. So we started meeting every Friday and Saturday, third year. Now this was in September, and then we really meet every Friday and Saturday until pretty much March or April. Now, third year is not as bad as first and second year, but still a lot of work. So to me, to dedicate every Friday and Saturday to do this was a lot of work. And a lot of Chinese food, and a lot of MSG. And uh, so it started becoming more like an actual book. We started making chapters, we started making margins and all that. Um, that's when we started meeting with Dr. Um, Kruger, who gave us tons of advice and reminded us we need to contact NBME and NBME to make sure we're not violating any rules, because this is a hot topic. And um, we contacted all Dr. Wright, Dr. Barone, all the other people. And then we found a publisher, iUniverse, and uh, the process kept going and growing. And uh, I mean, thank God today it's a book, but um, I can't tell you, I mean, looking back at it, it was eight months of hard work, but it was definitely worth it. Uh, and we'll tell you more about that. So, to summarize from uh, uh, summary, to give you a summary, basically, I say hard work and team work was the most important thing. We were dedicated and we were going to look out for every single medical student who has to go through what we had to go through. And we had to go out there and visit the clinical information. You go to studentdoctor.net, you talk to every medical student about you, and they give you some information. Very hard. It's kind of bring it all together. But we found the geniuses that have done really well on top of their brains, and we're able to compile this information into a book format so you don't have to go out there and ask too much questions. Anymore. And once success left to a level, Left one to another, 
be able to publish uh, Netscape articles. And this was the summer of the process. He gave it an idea. And I always realized in life, you can become anything. You can do anything. He started an idea, he gave me a lot of ideas. He told me, you should publish a case report. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So he started an idea, I said, we should write it. And we came to go, we had a mission. We wanted to finish this book before we started the residency. Most importantly, before we actually went in the And he became a project, and today it's become an accomplishment. So that's the reality of life. It's book is a very small book. About 100 pages long, you can read it in two hours. Well, the, funny, the interesting part of it is it's very deceiving. Every single line of this book is so important, you have to read it three times. And never before have so many known so little about so much because if you have to compile all the work we put in to get this set of reports to do well, it's 100 pages, you really underestimate it. So it's very important that you understand this quote is saying a lot that people don't know how to do this thing with the comments and tell how challenging they are and how much information it is, but this is definitely going to be very good to And that's what's written by Zidal Gandhi, one of the physicians in California that interns. So what's the purpose of our book? The purpose of the book, as you can see, we have a little bell curve here. On the left-hand side, you can see the red line, and we do not want you to be in the red line. We want you to pray you to get close to the red line, because people are being there. We don't want you to fail, basically. To score, to pass the comments, you need 400. And to pass the year 70, you need to score 189. Now, if you score 399, that is not good. If you get a 400, you just pass. But that's not our goal. Our goal is to sit whichever your goal is. If you look at that triangle right in the corner there, some people just want to pass this exam. This is very challenging. We understand that. And we're going to be able to get you there. If you just want to pass, we're able to also take into the average score about using this advice and tips. And we can get to get you excellent. So most people, it'll fall in the average range. And if you're in that zone, reading this book will give you extra tips to get you into the green zone, which is for like a hundred percent dollar on your exam. And I think that's a great way to do what you're going to do with me. And that's why. And on the left hand side of the corner, you see a wedding picture. It's a reason why it's there. Boards is like a wedding. Everything has to be perfect. The cameraman has to be there, right? The food has to be right. Like the wedding bride has to be right, right? You're not going to show up on that. No, so think of that as boring. You only get one shot at it. If you're gonna do it once, do it right. And we need to write a book that's gonna give you that perspective so that that day you're gonna feel more confident than you're supposed to be. Okay, so what are the highlights of the book? First of all, is this book right for you? I think the answer is yes, it's right for every medical student. I'm not just saying that because it's my book and I'm trying to sell, but the reality is we use this method to study, which we describe in the book. Me and Adelaide did very well in both USMD and Calmus. For you, for you, you who don't know, Calmus and USMD are very different exams. If you're trying to take both, well, for us, for DOS students, we have to take Calmus to graduate. There's no, and you have to take Calmus and pass it. But some of us want to go to an allopathic presence for whatever reason you have. And the doors are open as long as you have the USMD school. They used to be, or some programs, depends on the residency, I'm not going to go into that, but some programs will welcome Calmus scores. Um, more competitive programs, more competitive residencies will want to see USMD school. So this book, this method, we tried it worked for us. Our friends in our class tried it worked for them. Some of you are um, the third years upperclassmen. They tried it and it worked for them. Um, so here's, I mean, they are, um, agreed to, let me show their names, Yusuf Hande and David DiCaprio, those are third years who use our method. Yusuf wants to anesthesia, David wants to do ENT. They both did very well in both exams. They both used our method. And student X, they use they must use their name, but they're sitting amongst you now. Um, so, what do you need to know about this? Oh, and one more thing. I've been on six or seven interviews so far. Every single interview I walk into, my application is open, my board scores are highlighted, and that's the only thing we talk about. My board scores. They're impressed with it. They can't believe really how can, how did you study, blah blah. So, a lot of people tell you, oh, it's not just about board scores. The truth is. A big part of it is about board scores. You need to do well. You can't do less than average and then show up there with all the extracurricular stuff. Everything's, you know, every case is different, but board scores are big. At least they're going to help you if anything. So, what else is the book thing including? It talks about how to use first aid. Um, a lot of people have the idea that if you just study first aid, you'll be fine. Unfortunately, as you might have noticed, by first aid is very summarized. It doesn't have all the details you need to know. So, we talked about how to use the questions. Um, 
answer, you know, study the only answer, the correct answers, make your first aid your book of study so that by April maximum before your boards, the only book you're using is first aid. Um, our first aid went from, you know, the way you buy it's nice and clean and then we open it up by staples now it looks like this. And that's how it should look like by April and that's what you should study um, for your boards. And we included a board schedule, this is very important. We didn't find any schedules online when we tried to find schedules how to study. Um, so we designed a schedule where first you can sleep eight hours a day. I guarantee nobody's gonna let you sleep eight hours a day. Our schedule will let you sleep eight hours, have an hour lunch break and an hour dinner break. That's awesome. So that's ten hours, right? And the uh, remaining 14 hours are for study. But we, we work it very nicely. You can do basically three, four hour blocks or you know, give and take. And uh, you're able to do questions and study every day. So the method is very nice. And it, it fits everybody. You can change it however you want. The, the, the skeleton is the there. It's going to help anybody. And then the other section that we talked about is you simply or not. That's what when we sat with Dr. Kruger and took his advice since he knows more about this. Um, and we kind of came up with a list of who, which, who people, like, which group people need to take the U.S. Assembly, because it's not for everybody. Um, a lot of people take it, you know, they say, oh, of course, case, I just don't do well. No, that can close a lot of doors for you. So you make sure that you need to take it, and if you need to take it, make sure you need to do well. Because as a DO student, if you took U.S. Assembly, that's what they're going to look at, and then I'll back to presence, and they better be a good sport. And the last chapter that took was about the medical school, that's more for first year, for, for anybody, honestly. And uh, this was the article, one of the articles that got published in Medscape. Uh, I also want to forgot to thank the people who were helping us in the back, Shaquille, Osman, Ray, and uh, Justin, and well, Sonia. Um, and then we forgot to mention Ms. Jacoby, who helped us actually contribute the whole chapter to our book. Um, we mentioned it in the book. Um, so. so we're our current group people. I think we're going to kind of summarize the book in a precise way. Honestly, it's the most unbiased information you're gonna get out there. Uh, and to be honest, it's, it's, if you stick to it and you actually do exactly what it is, and we're not gonna lie to you, it's very hard. So that's, let me put that out there as soon as you're gonna You're gonna put in a lot of work, but in the end, it's all gonna be worth it. Uh, so we have current and future plans. Right now, we have a website called Future Teaching Positions. We have our partner in the back, it's an online company. Uh, the company actually, we started it. And we make online videos, guess what? I really love to teach, so I make many videos on YouTube. We have over 300,000 viewers right now, about 1,000 members on our website, and people also go on there every day to watch uh, these videos, and all the like, podcasts and notices and all this stuff you guys know in the class, they have no idea what they're reading, just memorizing it. I've actually been working in there in the most simple so you can possibly understand. Uh, we're also working on the second edition of the book coming out soon, hopefully, and also we're working on the HMP book for students because And we work with donations to support our project. So today. So we're gonna have we're gonna give away two books, but um, we're gonna be some put up questions, we're gonna use the raffle tickets, um, and we're gonna pick the first person, we're gonna put a question, and then you can you can't answer it, you can use you know one of your friends to help you out. But we don't we only have the answers. And then we're gonna do the same thing for another book, and then we're gonna be sitting and we'll just have <coughs> At the end, we're going to stay in the back, and uh, you know, we'll be selling the books and all that. But just to mention again, 10% of all the money is going to go to Camden Clinic, who does um, a lot of effort in our community. We appreciate their help. Um, we thank you for all the work they do on weekends. And I encourage all of you to participate. If you have a weekend on a Saturday, go to the um, Camden Clinic. It's a great learning experience. And uh, with that,
six, six. Yeah. 
that free lunch and free flow. So we're gonna open the panel up for questions. We don't, if you guys have any questions, I know everybody was talking about boards. Can I get your attention for a minute? I'm sorry. I know we're gonna have another panel for three hours for second years. We're looking at other classmates. We're gonna actually just sit around and talk about boards. And trust me, 95% of everything you need to know is in the book. We just gotta wrap up a few things, show you how our first day looks, kinda get you more practical and kinda see where we're going, okay? So if you have any questions, you can raise your hands and we're more than willing to answer before we wrap up the show. Alright, great. Thank you very much. So We're going to be sitting at the back. We have uh, uh, other members of students. If Dr. Cavalier, do we have any word? Do you want to say anything? Okay. So if you want to buy a book, you just stand in the back and we have people selling the book. And if you want an autograph, Farouk and I will be at the back signing the book for you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot. Are you studying for the USMLE Step 1 or Step 2? Are you studying for the NCLEX or you're currently in nursing school as a nursing student? Are you a PS student currently in school or studying for your PANS exam? Or are you a nurse practitioner student or trying to take your MP board exam? Listen, I've got super awesome content for you. If you truly love this video and it simplified your learning process, I want you to check out my website below. I've listed all the list of exams, whether you're studying for any of this board exam, and all I want you to do is click on the link right now below so that you can take you directly to my website. For USMLE, just go to smashusmle.com. For NCLEX, go to crushnclex.com. And if you're studying for the PANS exam, the nurse pr practitioner exam, or you're studying for your internal medicine board exam, just click below and take you directly to ftplectures.com. Listen, I can't wait to help you. If you need to get in touch with me, just get to my website, be able to reach me directly, and we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, you're super awesome, and my goal here is to help your dream come true. If you wanna be a doctor, wanna be a nurse practitioner, a registered nurse or physician assistant, I'm here to help you get to that next level. With your medical knowledge, let's save the world together. I love you guys. You guys are super awesome. And do not forget to click on the link below to be able to get to my website. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day. Let's go.